When I was buying my first property, there was lots of problem going on in my life. The seller of the property was saying that he will sue me, he will send people to my home and what not. And also my father was ill at that time. Doctor said that he may have colon cancer. And at the same time I had to pay almost 2 and a half lakh of registration fee to the government. So all of this thing accumulated into created chaos in my mind. So when this thing was going on, I sat down at one evening. I took out my notebook and I have just started writing. I was started writing that what I was going through, what was all the thing that was happening in my life. I was writing. And when I was writing, I was seeing this from the third person perspective. Because when I was facing this, I was the guy who is facing this, but when I was writing, I was seeing all the nuances, all the problems, all the people may have felt at that time when the problem arises. I understood their problem as well as well as mine. So when I was writing, I was almost seeing everything scene by scene where I could have improved. When I was writing, I was seeing that when other people could have said something else as well. And I understood this one thing that when you write, you actually can see your thoughts. So in this episode of the Impel Books podcast, I will share why you should write down what's there on your brain. It's simply called brain dump. So let's get started. You know, I was reading a lot of books and articles about brain dump where you just need to sit down and write down your thoughts in a free form way. Although I practiced it, I have write, written down my thoughts and everything. I did it for like 10 to 15 days, but I did not see any benefits, honestly. So I thought, okay, let's not do this. But when this problem arised, I thought, okay, let's write down what's there on my mind. And when I was writing, I was feeling a little bit calmer, I would say. Because when I was seeing things already happened with me and how it changes, changes me, it it really helped it really helped now if you are going through any problem or maybe even if you are not going through any problem if you are thinking that you need to clarify what you need to do in your life or maybe you are going through something in your life you are not you can you are unable to decide that which option to choose or maybe you are you know you are in a paradox of choices like what to choose there like uh, i should go for this or that right if you are in this kind of situation write down brain dump you i can't you know promise you that it will happen in one day but if you keep dumping it it will be clear on your mind that what you actually want from your life and if you are going through problem it will not fix the problem itself but you can see the problem from different angle which in turn will help you to actually deal with the problem in a better way and it will make you a better person as well and also you know whenever we come out of a problem we don't appreciate ourselves much we say that okay we just came out of the problem okay that's relaxed and sometime we may, we may face the problem again and we we you know curse ourselves but when we face a problem and when when we get get out of the problem we as a human actually improve i was going through a lot of problem at that time my father was ill my you know the the property that i will be buying he's uh, the owner was uh, saying that he will sue me and what not so there was a lot of lot of chaos was going on but after and the end of this problem i came out as a better person i understood that how to deal with th- this kind of problems so when you write down you understood that how a problem can change you so brain dump becomes very important so i highly recommend you if you are not writing I'm not telling you to be a st- you know storyteller or someone like that you just need to write what i used to do is that i used to write it down on a paper i just used to you know after writing down i just used to take this paper fold it and i just throw it out in the garbage that's it that's what i used to do because i n- never wanted others to see my thoughts what i was writing down in a free form way if you're not comfortable sharing your thoughts or keeping them somewhere or park them somewhere you can write it down and just throw the paper that's it now someone may argue that we can use laptop for this kind of stuff but i would recommend you not to do this 
um in my case i i almost write in the you know 60 words per minute but when i'm in flow it's uh, it can go up to like 80 words per minute and that is a little a lot of fast i would say in terms of the writing so when i'm i can i could write you know at the speed of my thoughts that is going to be a problem because you can't really see your thoughts what's what's actually going on you don't pause to see what's actually going on what actually matters to you so when you write down you can see your thoughts you can uh, you know you can see it from the distance that how it is going on how it is actually making up on your mind because you can't really you know the pace can't match the hand, the handwriting that you are doing it is it can't match with your thoughts so it becomes very important then when you are brain dumping you write it down on your notebook or whatever way you write want to write it down but just write it down because see problems are the inevitable things in our life and how we came out of it as a person that matters and only brain dump can show you that what actually matters to you whether it's a problem whether it's a goal or a solution of something so that's it for today's podcast i hope you like this podcast and if you did please do give five stars from wherever you are listening to and don't forget to subscribe the podcast please it helps me it motivates me to create more podcasts like this and if you have any query or message please do reach out to us we are impulbooks at facebook instagram and twitter so that's it for today have a good day